look at the time. I'm going to be late for work. And Julian's going to be late for... Come on, Dad, I'm going to be late for school. OK, Julian, don't worry. I'm on my way. <laughs> See you both later. Bye. Bye, love. Hold it. What's the trouble, Arthur? There's no trouble, Pat. That's the trouble. What do you mean, Arthur? Well, I've got nothing to do. No one really needs my help anymore. That's why I've asked for a new job with the Pencaster police. What? You mean you're leaving? Yes, I'm expecting a phone call from the Pencaster police station to say everything's going ahead. Meow. Anyway, call standard chat. I'm sure you're busy. Come on now, move along, move along. I can't imagine Greendale without PC Selby. And what about Lucy? If her dad goes, she'll leave too. What if we give him a big party? Then he'd see how much everyone needs him. That's a good idea, Julian. I'll tell everyone on my rounds and ask them to meet at the Green this afternoon for a big PC Selby party. Might as well go back to the car. Maybe someone will have an emergency to report. Sir, me and my dad met PC Selby this morning. And he's leaving Greendale to work in Pencaster. Oh, no! Lucy, is this true? I wasn't supposed to say anything. Don't worry. My dad's going to have a big party for your dad on the green after school, so everyone can tell him how much we want him to stay. Mr Pringle, can we write a song to sing for PC Selby? Well, I think that's a great idea, Julian. Great yes! idea! You all right, Ted? Eh? Oh, sorry, Pat. Just mending Dr Gilbertson's car. Morning, Pat. Hello, Ajay. I'm glad you're both here. I need to talk to you about PC Selby. Eh? I think he's leaving Greendale. Oh! <sighs> no emergency calls, no nothing. It'll be different in Pencaster. Robbers to chase, crimes to solve. <sighs> a party for PC Selby? That's a grand idea, Pat. We could do with his help on Dr Gilbertson's car. Why don't you give him a call, Ted? I know he's not busy. I will. At least we need him, eh, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> right then, children. We'll all listen to the songs and decide which one's best for PC Selby. Katie? Sarah? This is a song for PC Selby. What we really, really want. 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 Policeman! Yeah! That was, a uh, well, that was very interesting. Now then, who's next? <sighs> oh, uh, hey, uh, what's that? Hello? Calling PC Selby. Calling PC Selby. Assistance required at Ted Glenn's Watermill. Over. Yes, of course. I'll be right over. Oh, dear. We can't let PC Selby leave. I'll get me sheep up to the top field and then I'll come into Greendale and help with the party. Thanks, Alf. See you later, then. <laughs> Bye, Pat. A party is a lovely idea, Pat. We'll make some food and take it over to the Green. Thanks, love. Thanks, Nisha. Bye. Hot 
Humpty. Good idea, Pat. See you there. See you later, Reverend. Move, move! Arthur, thank goodness you came along. I can't get me sheep into this field. Don't worry, Elf. I'll give you a hand. Oi! Come back here, you silly sheep. Sorry, sir. We haven't really got any words yet. Never mind, boys. It was a good effort. Has anyone else got a song to sing? Well, Jess, now everyone knows about P.C. Selby's party. Meow. I hope we can convince him to stay in Greendale. Meow. Thanks, Arthur. I don't know what I'd have done without you. <coughs> well, uh, all in a day's work, Elf. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Bye. Found our song. Don't you, everyone? Yeah! Great! Right, Pumpkin. That's you all groomed for the day. Mm. Ouch! Ow! Oh, ouch. Oh, oh, dear. I think I'd better call Dr. Mm. Gilbertson. Hello? Oh, hello, Amy. What? I'll be there as soon as I... Oh, dear, I just remembered I haven't got my car today. I know. I'll call PC Selby. This is an emergency. Calling PC Selby. Calling PC Selby. Dr Gilbertson requires emergency help. Over. PC Selby here. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Hello, love. What time is PC Selby getting here? Oh, no. I was so busy telling everyone else about the party that I forgot to tell him. Oh, but... Don't worry. He'll be at Ted's. I hope. Oh, thank you so much, Arthur. I don't know what we'd do without you. Oh, well, <laughs> all in a day's work, Sylvia. There, nothing broken. You should be back to normal in a few days. Thanks, Doctor. And thank you, PC Selby. What would we have done without you? Um. <coughs> <coughs> Fancy forgetting to invite PC Selby to his own party, Jess. Meow. <coughs> Was that him? Meow. <coughs> Come on. Yeah. What would Greendale be without you, Mia? It does need something at the end to finish it off. I know, I know. Sarah, can you still do that funny deep voice? What, this? Please don't go. <laughs> hey, come on, everyone. We'd better get to the green or we'll be late. Thanks again, Arthur. I hope Ted mends my car soon. Ted? I promised to help him mend your car this morning. I completely forgot. Oh! Oh, no. Not again, Jess. Meow. Where's he off to now? Arthur. Hello, Pat. Uh, sorry I'm late, Ted. I've been rather busy today. How can I be of service? Well, she just needs a clean and we're finished. Right you are. Come on, Pat. What? Uh, uh, oh, OK. <laughs> Right, 
Let's start her up. This needs a bit of detective work. Hello, what's this? Oh, oh! A bird's nest? That's the last place we'd have looked after. Thank goodness you were here. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, well. Actually, Arthur, I could do with your help down at the green. The green? Right you are, Pat. Let's go. What's all this, then? Surprise! What's going on? Well, Arthur, we just want you to know how much you mean to us and how much we all need you. Well, I, uh, I suppose there have been quite a lot of people to help today. <sighs> but I'm waiting for the call right now about my new job in Pencaster. Why don't you sing PC Selby your song, children? One, two, three! Please don't go, we need you every day. If there's trouble, you're always on your way. Stay with us, we really need you here. What would Greendale be without you near? Please don't go. Well, Arthur, will you stay and be our policeman? Hello? This is BC Selby. <gasps> well, that's good news. I'm very happy to have been offered the job. <gasps> but I'm afraid I won't be able to take the job at Pencaster Police Station. I'm needed too much here in Green Bay. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, thank you, Lucy. And thank you too, Pat. It's good to be needed, but it's even more important to have friends. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Pat. Merry Christmas, Mrs Goggins. My word, what a lot of post. Well, it is Christmas Eve. I know, and it's the Christmas show tonight. Mira's playing Cinderella, and Julian's Prince Charming. Meow. And Jess is Cinderella's cat. Meow. Meow. You're very early, Ajay. I want to get to Pancaster and back before the snow gets too thick. I have to collect the Greendale Christmas tree. Oh, how lovely. The tree really makes it feel like Christmas, na? Aye. I better get a move on. <gasps> Bye, love. Take care, Ajay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Hello, Christmas, Pat. Pat. We're grooming Pumpkin. She's going to be pulling Cinderella's golden coach. Well, you two are doing a smashing job. He looks grand. Whoa! <laughs> Mr Pringle, I think I should be right at the front of the stage at all Whoa. times. Cinderella is the star after all. Uh, yes, Mira. I see. Hello, Jeff. Here's your post. What's going on? We are having a last rehearsal before the show this afternoon. Oh, uh, we would be <laughs> if everyone weren't okay. being so silly. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd better leave you to it, Jeff. This snow is getting very thick. Come on, girl, no time to waste. Everybody in Greendale is waiting for that tree. Behold! Who is this beauty that enters? Ugly sister coming through! <laughs> <laughs> what Jess has done. Oh, dear. Uh, 
Is that Cinderella sleigh? It looks smashing, Ted. It's all ready to take down to the school. Grand, I'm off to the station. I promised Ajay I'd help him with the Christmas tree. See you later, Ted. Bye, Pat. We'll soon be home, girl. I hope. What do you think? What do you think? Not bad, eh? No, Charlie, it's awful. <sighs> You've completely ruined it. What's wrong with her? Dunno. Rightio. Let's give you a drink. Oh, no. There's hardly any water left. It must have frozen up. I have come to find the owner of this... Of this glass slipper. Uh, uh, of this, uh... Glass slipper! Oh, Julian, you should know your words by now. Sorry, Mira. Mira shouldn't be telling Julian his words. That's my job. Oh, dear. I hope that's enough to get us home, or Greendale won't have its tree in time for Christmas. Hello, Nisha. Is Ajay back yet? No, he's not. Maybe he's stuck in the snow. Don't worry, Nisha. I'll go and look for him. He can't be far. Oh, thank you, Bad. <laughs> oh, no. The line's blocked. Now, where did I put that shovel? It's not here. I must have forgotten it. What am I going to do now? Whoever's shoe fits this foot shall... No, Julian. It's whoever's foot fits this shoe. Uh, 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 Dad! Dad! Just a minute, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, shoe. Oh. Oh, Sarah! I couldn't help it. Oh, no one's taking it seriously. We'll never put on a good show now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. I can't make it through this snow. What do I do now? I know. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Mira. It's not that bad, surely. Oh, Amy. I wanted everything to be just right for the show. But it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Amy! Amy! Sorry to interrupt, but can I borrow pumpkin for a couple of hours? Pumpkin? But, Pat, you can't take pumpkin. Cinderella can't get to the ball without him. I'm sorry, Mira. <laughs> I wouldn't take pumpkin if it wasn't important. But we think your dad and the rocket might be stuck in the snow, and I need pumpkin to go and find them. I'll get pumpkin right now, Pat. <sighs> Would Dad be all right? He'll be fine. Don't worry. Here he is, Pat. Thanks, Amy. You'd better get mm. back, Mira. You and your friends have a show to put on. It's not going very well. Oh? I wanted the show to be a big success, and nobody seemed to care, and I shouted. And now I think I've upset everyone. Never mind. Maybe now's the time to go back and start again. Yes. OK, Pat. I'll do my best. Good girl. And don't worry, <laughs> we'll be back before you know it.
Here we are. One golden coach fit to carry a princess. Hmm. Maybe not a princess, Ted. More like a postman. Eh? It's no good. This could take hours. And if I can't get home tonight, that means no tree, no proper Christmas for Greendale. <laughs> It'll be no laughing matter if we don't find Ajay and get you back before the show starts. That's it, Pumpkin. Steady now. Well, what do you think? Oh. Oh, dear. Here, Sarah. Let me help. Thanks, Bearer. <laughs> and you and I, Cinderella, will live happily ever after. That sounds great, Julian. Uh, thanks, Mira. Let's give them a show they'll never forget. Yeah! yeah! Of course! <laughs> that sounds like... <laughs> Pumpkin! Ajay! I'm fat. Am I glad to see you. I thought I was going to be here all night. Let's get you home before the snow starts again. But I can't leave the rocket pad. Don't worry. Alf will clear a path for her with his snowplow in the morning. Okay, Pat. Come on, then. Let's get that tree back to Greendale. I wonder where Pat and Pumpkin are. It's almost time for the magic coach. Don't worry, sir. Leave it to me. Behold, Cinderella. Here is your magic coach that will carry you to the ball. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. No problem, Mira. I mean, cinders. Come, Cat, Meow. to the Prince's Palace. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Pumpkin! Mm. Oh, come on, we might still be in time for the show. It fits! Cinderella, you shall be my bride! Oh, Julian, I'm sorry I missed the show. And I'm sorry I didn't make it in time with Pumpkin, Mira. Never mind, Pat. Is Dad all right? Uh, he was right behind me. Hello! <gasps> Dad! Ajay! Sorry I missed your play, love. That's OK. It's just good to have you back, Dad. I've got a special surprise for you and everyone. Come on outside. Meow. I just want to say thank you to Pat, who saved me from the snow and saved Greendale's Christmas. <gasps> oh, Dad! You and Pat even put presents under the tree. What?
But I didn't bring any presents. Did you, Pat? No, but I think I know who did. Oh, Jess, it really is going to be a wonderful white Christmas after all. Wow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas! Morning, Pat. Morning, Jess. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Goggins. Chilly out there today. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, I'm afraid. You'll have to collect the rest of the post from the station. Ajay should be back from Pencaster with it by now. Ajay? Is everything all right? No. It's not all right. The rocket's frozen solid, and I haven't been able to get to Pancaster to collect the post today. I'm just trying to unstick the water pipe to get her going again. Hmm. Looks like it's come unstuck all right. Oh, no! The Greendale rocket will never move now. Look at the car park, too. Oh, dear. All that water has frozen solid. <laughs> How am I going to get rid of all this ice? I don't know, Ajay. But now I haven't got much post to deliver, I'll get back as soon as I can and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, this... this is slippy. Ooh, steady. That was close. Meow. Careful, Jess. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Come on, Jess. We've got post to deliver. Mira? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at school? The heating isn't working. Mr Pringle sent us all home until he can get it fixed. Oh, dear. Dear poor Jeff. Mum, can we play outside? OK, but be careful because it's very icy out there. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Pat. Hello, you two. No school today. No, the heating's broken. Would you like a ride on our sledge, Pat? <laughs> Not today, thanks. You two have fun, though. Thanks. Come on. Meow. There you go, Julia. Oh, thanks, Pat. What's that you're doing? Oh, well, it's a, it's a bit slippy out here, so I'm sprinkling some grit on the path. It melts the ice. What a good idea. That's just what Ajay needs for the frozen car park. Well, I've got plenty to spare, Pat. You're welcome to take this sack and give it a try. Thanks, Julia. That's very kind of you. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Meow. Careful on the path. I haven't gritted all of it yet. Whoops. I see what you mean. Gangway! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow! Did you see Pat go? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Jess. Meow. It's just like a real ice ring. And it's brilliant for sliding, too. Watch this. Woohoo! Jeez on bees! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's fantastic. My turn. Woo! I'm going to dance on the ice like a real ice skater. That's oh. boring. 
Come on, Bill. Let's see who can slide the best. <laughs> Nice try, Mera. Thank you. But what you need are some ice skates. I used to have a couple of old pairs lying around somewhere. Ooh, can I try them, Dad? Hi. Why not? I'm not having much luck fixing the train. Why don't we both have a go? I'll see if I can find them. Thanks, Dad. Are you coming, Jess? Watch out, sheep. I've got letters to deliver. Ouch! Oh, dear. This ice is making things very tricky. I hope Ajay's OK at the station. Maybe these ice skates weren't such a good idea after all. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll be fun. Ouch! Ouch! Oops! Sorry, Dad. Oh, it's OK. Go on. Give them a whirl. <laughs> well done, Mera. You're doing great. Just takes practice, that's all. I think I'll stick to driving trains. Oh. Watch out, Ajay! Hey. 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 hey! Watch out, lads! <laughs> Hello there, Ted. Whoa! What? Watch out! Ooh. Some post for you, Ted. Boy, but that were impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm having a right job delivering the post with all this snow and ice about. Oh, well, you see, that's where my latest invention comes in handy. It's the Ted Glenn automatic de-icing machine. It melts all that snow and ice in a jiffy. Watch. All you have to do is point it at what you want to de-ice. Like this. Wow, now that is impressive. Ajay could do with that to de-ice the Greendale rocket and the car park. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Come on, you two. Don't you want to try skating? No. This is much more fun. <laughs> I'll go and see if I can find something to slide on to make it faster. Whoa! Skaters have skating partners. Nah, skating's for girls. Why? Cos boys can't do it. Can, sir. Go on, then. Show me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, right, then. Hey, I can skate. I told you it was fun! Look! I got these sacks from the post van on the train to slide on. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Come on, let's just try out those sacks. But I thought you were my skating partner. Whoa. Come and get some nice hot chocolate. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Brilliant! Yeah! 
You're skating really well now, Mera. Bill, Julian, have you been skating too? No, we've been sliding. Oh, I see. Mum, Dad, will you come and watch me do my ice dance? As soon as you've finished your hot chocolate. I wonder where Ajay's got to. I don't know, but doesn't look like he's had much luck with this. Look at those icicles. Wait till I'm done with my machine. Let's try it on the rocket first, and then we can get cracking on the car park. Pat, how did you get rid of all those icicles? With Ted's new de-icing machine. What do you think? It's wonderful. Thank you, Pat. I'll de-ice the car park now. No! no! Stop! 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 What's wrong? We don't want you to melt the ice in the car park. Why not? It's our ice rink. Ice rink? Aye. They've been playing on the ice all day. Mera's even been practising an ice dance on skates. Well, now you're talking. I love a bit of ice skating, me. I didn't know you could ice skate, Ted. Me? <laughs> no, I've got two left feet. I just like to watch. Oh, I really need someone to skate with me to do my special ice dance. Can you skate, Pat? No, sorry, Mira. I Pat, you can. You might not have had skates on, but you were doing a grand job on that ice earlier. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, please, Pat. All the proper ice skaters have partners to skate with. Go on, Pat. You'll be great. <sighs> Why, heck, Jess. Them's the best ice dancers I've ever seen. Thanks, Pat. You're a great ice dancer. Thank you. Are you OK, Pat? Um, <laughs> yes, thanks. But maybe I'll leave the skating to the real ice dancers like you from now on. Meow.